another adventure for fearless Prince Fix-A-Lot. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Leo? D -d There's someone else in here. I think it's a ghost. A ghost? A ghost. Do be silly. There are no such things as ghosts. Are there, Bob? Of course not. <laughs> you don't scare me, ghosty. You're no match for the gallant prince fix a lot. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Leo. The important thing is to stay calm and try not to... Help! Panic. Just sit tight. I've got a brilliant plan to get you out. That's great, Bob. What is it? Uh, I haven't thought of that bit yet. Bob, if we don't think of something soon, we won't be able to get the castle open for the festival. If only I could get inside the castle myself. And then Leo and I could open the portcullis together. Oh, I know, Bob. Climb into my bucket and I'll throw you over the wall. Just like a bag of cement. Uh, thanks, Scoop. But let's try plan B. I've just had an idea. And if it succeeds, we'll rescue Leo and get the portcullis open in time for the festival. But we're going to have to work together as a team. It will take courage, determination and a healthy dose of axle grease. Can we save Leo? Yes! yes! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! First, we're going to need to fix the drawbridge so it's strong enough for Muck to cross. OK, Muck, lift the portcullis as high as you can. Ooh, ooh, it's heavy. Don't drop it until I say now. Now? Sorry, Bob. Good luck, Phew. Bob. Watch out for that ghost. Oh, who's there? Gull, is that you? Hello. Your Majesty. Bob? Hero! Uh, there might be a way. If we take the skeleton to pieces, we can carry all the bones inside and then put it back together again. I don't think that's such a good idea, Lofty. We shouldn't do anything drastic until Bob gets back. But it's getting late and Mem Madison will be here soon. I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Come along, everyone. There's a T-Rex to take apart. Yeah, this thing is so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh, dear. No, that can't be right now. Maybe this one. Ugh. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. This large one must be part of the, uh, leg. So it must go here. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem to fit. Um, what about this small one, then? Uh, part of the tail, isn't it? Or maybe the left foot? No? Oh, dear. What on earth? What happened? Sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I was just trying to help. No, Lofty. I'm the guilty party, I'm afraid, Bob. I got this fellow's height and wit the wrong way round. We couldn't get the skeleton through the doors. So we took it apart. And now we can't remember how to put it back together again. I'm sure we can fix it. Can't we? Oh, dear. It's like a big jigsaw, isn't it? If only we had a picture of what it looked like before you took it to pieces. Wait! We do! We do what? We do have a picture. Leo took some photos on his phone. That's right, I did. Oh, that 
that's where that bit goes. Oh, yes. Splendid, splendid. Now, there's no time to lose. Let's get this sorted out before the mayor arrives. snow chains. That's because his tracks give him extra grip. Sorry, Scoop. Oh, I would have been brilliant at snowboarding too. OK, Lofty, lift the crossbeam up to me and I'll secure it to the support tower. Hurry up, Leo. We're good to go. OK, Bob. The chairlift is ready. Wicked! Would you snowboarders like to take the first ride? Yes, please. I could have a really quick go on the snow while no one's watching. Wow! What an amazing view! I could see my house from here! <laughs> Hiya, Teen Bob! <laughs> this is fun! Look at me, everyone! This is totally extreme! That is extreme! Extremely dangerous! Oh, no. coming stop, Scoop! I can't stop! That's because you're not wearing snow chains. Are you okay up there? <laughs> We're fine, Bob! This is awesome! Hold on tight! I'm going to have to hit the emergency brake. But, Bob, the closest brake is all the way down at the base terminal. Then there's only one way. Here you go, Bob! Go, Bob! But watch out for my snowman! Can you make an omelette without breaking a few eggs? OK, Bob. Ready, steady, fliff! What happened to the... omelette? Into me, you and it's so unfair. I mean, I know you did the bump sandwich there. In three, two, one. The aliens in the lift. Oh, no. Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Uh, looks scrumptious. <laughs> it tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's a whiz in the kitchen. Are we going faster? That's not supposed to happen. Whoa! Whoa! Back 
hier. Pilchett! Spaceship take off! Perhaps she wants to go home. Uh oh. Oh, no. oh. Help! Bob, do something! Fast! Oh. Oh. <sighs> Got it. Pilchard, fancy a sardine sandwich a la Bob for supper? Probably shouldn't be doing that without using the manual. It's all right, Lofty. I know all about robotics. Look, I'm making Rudolph fly. Come in, Leo. Come in, Leo. Oh, hi, Bob. Listen, there's a storm coming. We need to have the picking system up and running by this evening. Really? Okay. I need you back here quick. Oh, and can you bring my 32 mil spanner? Sure thing. Great. Thanks, Leo. Look! I'm a robot picker arm! No, you're not. Look at me! OK, that's enough fun, you two. We need to get back to work. I'm switching it off. But you've jumbled up all the toys, Leo. They're all in the wrong places. Uh... That's OK. I'll put them back. OK, so this teddy here... Here on the teddy shelf. Oh no! There's a skateboard and a jigsaw on the teddy shelf. Where is the skateboard shelf? Uh, no. Where is the jigsaw shelf? Uh... What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just a tiny bit confused. Oh no! Why don't you press the undo button a few times? That's a good idea, Scoop. Oh, I think it's woken up. Ah! Uh oh, this is very bad. Does Moody's enjoying it? I've never seen Leo move so quickly. Leo, where are you? I need that spanner. Uh, hi, Bob. Ah, there you are. Have you got my yeah. spanner? Uh, no, because the robot arm's got me. Oh, oh no. Uh, ah. It's all right. I'll get you out. I do think he likes it as much as he thought he would. Right. Now we've just got to install the lift car and the... That sounds like Scoop. Oh, no! What's he doing up there? Wishing he was down here by the sound of things. Whoa! Whoa! Stay in the middle, Scoop! He will help you find Scoops on board. OK, Bob. Going down. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Where did he go? Scoop, are you all right? Oh, no. I'm balancing. But I'm not good at balancing. What are we going to do? I've got an idea. Tiny, lower the cage down to me. Wendy. We're going to need the welding equipment. OK, Bob. I'll get the welding masks. <laughs> OK, Tiny. Take me up. Here 
really there. Take it in steady. Slow down. And stop. Perfect. Scoop. Bob. I need you to roll carefully towards me. I don't think I can move. You have to. I need to get you down. I'm really sorry, Bob. Now Mayor Madison will come back and the lift won't be ready. It'll be fine. Come on. Just move towards me. I can't. OK. Then I'm coming to get you. Bob's walking across the beam. No, Bob. That's dangerous. Stay where you are. I'm coming. OK, then, Scoop. Take it really slowly. Keep going, Scoop. Keep your wheels in line. That's good. Don't look down. You're doing great. Hold it steady, Tiny. Well done. Now keep your brakes on. Take us down slowly, Tiny. Maybe if I get close enough, if I can just peek through... Hello. Lofty! I'm really sorry, Bob. I just wanted to see the giraffe. <laughs> oh, that crashing scared the giraffe. He's run off into the zoo. Oh, dear. I've broken everything and made the giraffe run away. Don't worry, Lofty. I'm sure we can sort it all out. Wendy and Leo, can you repair the fences and the viewing platform and scoop? Can you help them? OK, okay Bob. Bob. And the rest of us will split up and find the giraffe. OK, okay, okay Bob. Bob. of him anywhere. He's probably lost forever. Oh, no. Don't worry, Lofty. There must be a way to find him. The poor thing. He hasn't even had his lunch yet. <gasps> That's it! What's it? If it's the giraffe's lunch time, he might come out if he sees some food. Good idea, Lofty. If you drive slowly around the zoo, he's bound to smell the food and come out to get some. Let's go. But go really slowly. I will, Bob. And quiet. Well, listen, as a reward for working so hard, you can be the first to test out the new barrier. Really, Bob? That would be... No, Bob, uh, I'd better not. Uh, th th there's still a lot to do. Actually, we're in pretty good shape. Come on, Scoop. Everyone deserves a breather now and again. Uh, I've just got something I need to sort out. It's, uh... uh you go ahead. I'll see you there. <laughs> There go my hydraulics again. Uh, was that Wendy just calling for you? I didn't hear anything. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, gull. I didn't listen to anyone and now I've sprung a leak and got to keep it covered up. Oh, no. Muck's coming. Actually, 
Maybe Muck can help me. Anything else for me to get rid of? Uh, no, not at the moment, Muck. In fact, you could have a little rest if you wanted. I'm fine. No, you look tired. Everyone deserves a breather now and again. You know where a grey spot to take five is? Right here. Well, it has been quite a hard morning. Yeah, and we're in pretty good shape. OK, Scoop. Try it now. OK, Wendy. Lord Mayor Scoop coming through! That was so cool! Can I have another go? Of course you can. But we should let one of the others have a turn first. Hey, Muck! Do you want to have a zoom through the new automatic barrier? Oh, yes, please, Bob. Hang on, Muck. If you're here, then who's... Who's what, Scoop? Uh, uh... Nothing! Doesn't matter! See you in a minute! Happened. Okay, everything's in place. Dizzy's arrived with the cement. We just need Bob to bring the flag. Wendy! I just had the best idea. We can put our biggest trophy inside the tree house. No, Safi, wait! Dizzy's pouring in cement. That's what's going to hold the support beams in place. Making the treehouse strong and sturdy. The cement has to dry before you can use the treehouse. OK? Sure. I can wait. There! Now the rocks are tidy. Um, Scoop, you should have put the big rocks at the bottom. Why? What's going to happen? That... that's what's going to happen. Ah. Uh. Can you help me clear them up? Sorry, Scoop. It's not on Wendy's schedule. We'll have to tidy them later. Come on, let's go. Well, that's enough waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. All done, Wendy. Pour to perfection. Thanks, Dizzy. So, what's next on the schedule? Can you wait with Muck and Lofty until the cement sets and then we can check that the job is finished? Sure thing! How's it going, hero Wendy? Well, I had to paint the floor panel twice, unstick myself from the wall and then reseal the window. <laughs> Some hero I am. Help! What was that? Oh, no! Safi! Why were you up there, Safi? The treehouse isn't ready yet. I guess I didn't wait long enough for the cement to dry. <gasps> the trophy! It's still up there! Oh, what have I done? Don't worry, Safi. I'll get it. Wendy, it's too dangerous! Oh, I can't reach it! Too far down. Oh. I'll lower you. Ugh. Bob, get me out of here. <laughs> Ease the line, Bob, quick. Let him go. No 
one should touch the new plasterboard walls, the paint's still wet. Um, Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <laughs> then I'll come back to help you cut out the wall and lay the path. Now can I dig out the new path? Not yet, Muck. Now you have to wait for Wendy to come back. And yes, I know, Lofty, time is running out. Good, Pilchard. Quickly now. I need to go get... Cooper! <laughs> Pilchard! <laughs> <laughs> Stop, Leo! That's pet shampoo! And the floor will be slippy! Don't worry, Wendy! Oh! That didn't go quite to plan. We can't wait any longer. Muck, Lofty, you're going to have to start the path by yourselves. Yeah! Oh, thank goodness. And I'll go and find the others. Cooper, look out! Cooper, no! with animals. Really? Hadn't noticed. Uh, hello? Leo, we're behind schedule, so you're going to have to stall your dad for a while longer. Uh, love thing. So, gentlemen, would you like a dessert? No thanks, Chef Tati. I think we're both full, especially one of us. Uh... Actually, I think I might have room for one of each. One of each? <laughs> the boy must have hollow legs. There. Now, what do you think, Bob? Isn't it flashing ever so slightly too quickly? Huh. It looks okay to me, Mr. Bentley. Oh, maybe it's flashing ever so slightly too slowly. Uh, let's check it against the other indicator. So. How are you, Betsy? Well, I I've been better, Scoop. I've got this funny rattle, you see. Hmm, sounds like your big end. I beg your pardon? Yeah, you need to get that looked at sharpish. But Curtis isn't here and Bob's far too busy. Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. Yes, I do, don't I? Thank you. In fact, follow me. Coming through, coming through. Minibus in need of immediate mechanical attention. Just hop on there, Bets. Scoop, what are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, I always get worried when he says that. I really don't think you should mess about with the lift before Bob checks it's working OK. Here we go. Up, up, up. That should do it. Now, where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Oh, no! Betsy! Betsy, are you OK? I'm fine, Bob. Bit of a scratch to my paintwork, but it looks like your new garage roof came off worse. Oh, I should never have put Betsy on the lift. Now I've damaged her and the new roof. I'm a useless mechanic. <laughs> 